Welcome to HITV, and we're here to talk about something uh, kind of interesting. So, the archaeological record of Chinese medicine dates back about 5,000 years, and our earliest surviving literature dates back to about 2,000 years. And over those thousands of years, Chinese medicine has been growing and evolving, but mostly in Asia. In fact, it's only the latter quarter of the 20th century that Chinese medicine really had an impact in the Western world. So, can you learn Chinese medicine outside of China? That's a good question, and the answer is yes, of course. North America, Europe, schools are all around the world. Um, the, the stumbling block is, you know, who teaches this stuff? Uh, do you learn it in Chinese, right? Uh, are Ch people from China coming to teach it, or are they homegrown professors? It's a very, very good question. Mm -hmm. And you have to think about like the cultural aspect too. Are North Americans or Europeans really interested in Chinese medicine? Or is it more of a, a cultural phenomenon? Well, the demographic of our school, which incidentally our classes are taught in English, the demographic of our school is a, a large portion of our, our student body is Asian and from China, and the other portion is from North America, and we have students from Europe and, and pretty much all over the world. So why don't we find out what they have to say about learning Chinese medicine outside of China? Yeah, let's get out of here.